Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. And I received my 17 inch arcade cabinet from a company out of Pittsburgh. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, bartopcabinets.com. You can check them out. They make some really good products. They make a PVC cabinet and they make this wood one. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to put this together. As you see, it comes with a two player button board, a one player, your three select or a two select. You got your side pieces. There's the back with a little notch in it. And here's the kiosk and speaker holder. Um, it does not come with any pre-drilled holes to mount with. It doesn't have any lockers built in or anything. So you need to either screw, nail, glue this thing together. Now what I am opting to do here is the easiest way that I've found is to glue this cabinet together. Now it's gonna hold up really well, but after we glue it together, I am actually going to put some angle brackets on the inside, on the corners, just to hold it a little more steadily. And this thing should never come apart with, the, with some nice wood glue. Here's the materials I'm gonna be using. Um, I have two two by fours here. Now this is just to put on the outside of the cabinet and clamp it down so I do not mess up the cabinet board itself. Um, just some regular wood glue and got some wet rags here. Assortment of angle brackets. So I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way and I am going to assemble it. I'm going to try to record this as best as possible. I also have a small drill to set the angle brackets with. But I was going to screw it together. Um, I probably should screw it together, but I'm afraid I'm just not going to drill it correctly and crack the wood. So the easiest option for me is to glue it together. And the glue is definitely going to hold it together. Um, that glue bonds stronger than the wood itself. So I'm going to get right into it, try to set this camera up and get it put together. Okay. So um, what I'm going to do here is glue the two sections together. I'm using this board, he, these two two by fours. So when I get it glued together, I can clamp it without damaging the wood on here. You don't need much glue. You don't need to go overboard. Uh, let me grab these rags here. I should be spreading it with a sponge or a brush, but I don't have one right now. And I'm just going to try this guys. If this doesn't come out right. Oh well. So we're just going to put a little line here. And I may have put too much on this side, which is fine. That's why we have these rags here. Do you want to get this wiped up? as soon as possible. Now you won't see the inside of the cabinet, so this glue here has a working time of about 10 minutes, so you want to kind of be quick with it. So after 10 minutes, you need to set it before 10 minutes is up. So that should be plenty there. I overdid it on that first one. But you want to make sure it's covered completely now this glue is amazing it'll work this is definitely going to work you want to put a little on the board here and i'm just going to put a little on the base just a tad <laughs> So what I did was I actually didn't use the 2x4s. These supports have little uh, rubber on them, so they should hold fine. This looks great. Like I said, if you get any overspill on glue or anything, uh, no problem. You can sand that right off. That will not be a problem. So what I need to do is let this dry for a while. I'm going to set it here, and it should cure. Now it can take a while to cure, 
You need to uh, just be patient, let it dry. And while you're at it, as soon as you get it bolted up, you can actually wipe this, you know, the excess off. That way you won't have that much sand then to do. So after about 15 minutes of drying, I really quickly just inserted the boards. Now I wanted the support. If you have more clamps, you probably don't need the boards. I wish I would have bought two more. But the boards are there to keep an even hold all the way down the side of the cabinet. Let this dry for a while. Okay, so while I still have it clamped, I've let it dry for about two hours here. And what I'm gonna do is add a couple, well, I'm gonna add two angle brackets inside while it's still clamped. And you should be able to figure out how to use these. Um, it's just kind of hard for me to mount my camera. They just go in here like this. You wanna make sure, well, I'm going to make sure that they're pretty even across. I'll be right back. So I came in three inches from the top three inches from the bottom and it should look something like this. I still have my clamps on and I'm going to let it cure for 24 hours just to be safe. Okay guys, so it's dried for a while and it's definitely very, 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 very sturdy here. So what I'm going to do, I want to make this, this is the back here. So I want this to be hinged. I'm going to place it in here and you need to line it up so it's flush on each side. And all I'm going to do is use a 24 inch bar clamp here to hold it in place for right now because I'm not going to glue it but I do want this here so I have everything in place and this will hold it right in there perfectly for us. So I'm just going to tighten this down a bit. We want to make sure everything is lined up perfectly. And I'll turn this around in a second. Start. Just make sure that you have this aligned as best as possible here. I'm just going to give it a couple crimp crimps on here. Start. So we should have no problem as it's flush about as flush as I can get it here hopefully you can see that in the video but I'm gonna add the top piece of the marquee in now this comes with three different lengths of wood and I'm not exactly sure which goes where one is for the monitor mount and uh, the other two are for the marquee so what I'm gonna do is use the mid-sized piece for the top. I'm gonna to use the smaller piece for the middle of the marquee. I'm gonna get started here. You want to line this up with the very top of the edge here and the back. I'm gonna use another clamp just to get this in place um, before we glue it. I just wanna show you how it will look while it is connected here. So it should be flush here. And it, we're gonna leave a tiny gap in the back. That way I can fold the back panel down when I need to. And I'm just going to put two hinges on it and some type of clasp on each side. I don't have those yet, but I do have hinges for this. I'm gonna glue this into place just like this. And I'm going to add two, I will add two angle brackets inside. Now, like I said before, I opted to glue this. I wanted to do a glue job and it's coming out beautifully. After the marquee is added, glued in and mounted into place, this should be as sturdy as nailing it or screwing it. Now that glue is really, really tough stuff, so I'm not worried about it falling apart or anything like that. So 
So I just want to take a look. And your marquee, you may have to do a little sanding, but after the top is glued, this should slide right into place. Here. And then you're going to add your, whatever kind of marquee you would like, you can add speakers here, or uh, yeah, speakers inside here, and then a piece of Lexan with a print behind it, maybe a light. Now I do not have speaker holes drilled or cut in this. I'm going to do that later and I'm not worried about it because I'm just going to hole saw them out. And there's a gap in between here which I want. So we have uh, the back can move up and down. And I may push this in more when I get to it, but I'm not going to glue the mid piece just yet. I'm going to glue the upper piece. So that's going to look really good. I'm going to go ahead and pull my mid piece out, set it aside, release my top clamp. I'm going to add a little glue to the edges here. Now with the top, I'm just going to add glue to the edge here. I shouldn't have any trouble. I do have some wet cloths and it cleans up beautifully while it's wet. Like I said before, there's a 10 minute working time with this, so there should be just enough time. There should be plenty of time to fit this in there correctly and clamp it down. Now, the glue, the Elmer's wood glue that I'm using states to let it dry for 12 hours. I did not let this dry for 12 hours, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be set. You can do this however you want. This is how I opted to do it. This is the easiest way with the least amount of power tools. You just want to find, you know, a good side. So I like that finish there. I'm going to use that on the outer edge. And I'm just going to add a bit of glue to each side. too much glue there again over gluing everything so I'm just going to spread it out it's going to be fine you can wipe the edges off you see here, after you wipe it off, it's beautifully clean. And I am just going to place this in here. Now it will make a bit of a mess, but we can wipe that off and it will look very, very good. And you just want to make sure that this is right at the edge on each side. Before I clamp it, I'm actually going to do a first wipe down. That Elmer's glue comes right off. So I'm going to clamp it right about in the middle here. Make sure it is as flush as you can possibly get it here. is beautiful and I'm just gonna throw a couple turns on this clamp now that I have the top mounted I can actually release the back clamp because I only have two here and I'm just gonna station one clamp towards the outer edge 
and I will move this clamp up a little further in the front just to get a good bond on this. And you don't, you really don't need to torque it down too much. Just make sure it's nice and snug. Give it another wipe down here. If you do end up moving uh, your clamps, just make sure it is back in place where it was. This glue will squeeze from the sides. And I believe that is going to be perfect. We'll let that dry for a few hours and I'll move to the mid piece and then I will fix the back. Okay, so I let the glue cure overnight on the top piece here. For the, as you can see, it's starting to look like a cab now. For the lower marquee support, I'm actually going to wait until later when I put the marquee on so I can center this perfectly with the length of the marquee. Right now, I'm going to put the back panel on the unit. Now, this thing is very, very sturdy. Even though it's glued, it is super sturdy. With the back panel here, it should fit pretty snugly inside of here. As you can see, it takes a little bit of force to get it in. And you just want to line it up best you can with the sides of the the cabinet sides here. We're gonna have a little gap up top, which is normal. This is perfectly fine, right in here. I'm gonna use a clamp to clamp the clamp on the clamper. What I'm gonna do is just put this clamp here just to hold this snugly in place. Now, should have no problem opening and closing the cabinet from the back side to access everything. And I don't have one right now, but some sort of latching mechanism, possibly a push to unlock mechanism from uh, the cabinet section and Lowe's would work on each side. You know those uh, cabinets you push in and they click out? So that's how to assemble the back. Next video, or next one I'm gonna be doing is assembling the arcade button board. All right guys, so I'm gonna put my controller board together now. Now I'm leaving the mid marquee out. So when I get my marquee, I can adjust everything that I need to do. But right now, I'm gonna assemble the button holder. And you just want to make sure your buttons fit. Now I'm using um, Sanwa style buttons. I had to dremel these out a bit, but they actually fit very well after they're dremeled just a bit. They come 28 millimeter and these Sanwas are 30 millimeter. And for this, I'm going to use this side for my top plate here. And 
little damage here from the shipping. All I'm going to do is glue this to here. Yeah, I'll leave it just like this. So when everything's together, it should be fitting snug now that you have, uh, you know, your sides on and everything. But depending on how you want this angled, no matter which way you want it angled, this needs to be connected. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of glue on this side. And use a bar clamp to clamp it down. Just make sure you get the sides you want to use. I'll be using this side on the outside and this on the outside here. And it should be good to go. Just let it dry a bit. Then we'll move on to attaching it to the case or to the cabinet here. All right, so I have finished gluing up the control board. I have mounted my buttons. And I've also placed two three inch by one inch blocks here and they're glued on just so my joystick will fit firmly in here. And just like this. We're gonna go around the back side of this and I'll show you. We just have the generic Chinese USB encoder board. And these are Sanwa style buttons. six here and then we have the start and select in the front so for a monitor or for a display what i'm going to be using is a 19 inch samsung i'm going to be using a 19 inch samsung so this here i still haven't mounted this because this is where my speakers are going to be going and i want to get my marquee straight as possible when i do put it on um let me grab my monitor here Now I'm going to be upgrading this monitor to a better one as soon as I can afford one. But for now it fits perfect and I'm going to be using the stock mount instead of one of the boards with the Versa mount. I am using plexiglass and I've already cut my piece. And what I did around the border here was go to AutoZone and get some car trim. It was 10 bucks for like 18 feet of it. And it fits perfect on here. And I've made a simple marquee display for now. So everything is looking really good to me. I actually love the way this looks. Still have the plastic on the screen as you can see. What I'm going to do is pull this plastic off. Plug in my monitor, Raspberry Pi 3, and test out these buttons. The encoder board goes to a USB cable, and then the USB plugs directly into the Pi. All right, so this is the first time booting it up. I have my Raspberry Pi outside. This is a Raspberry Pi 2. I already had it hooked up with emulation station. I want to raise the screen up a bit, about an inch inside. But this is the first time turning it on. Let's see if everything works. I'm not even sure if the, you know, USB zero delay board and all this works. So we'll see what happens. So 
but it's far from done. I just want to test everything out the way it sits and pretty much it's just the uh, cosmetics that need to be finished up. Need to figure out a way to mount this without gluing it or nailing it in there. I would like some kind of latch mechanism to where I could just pull this back out, which would be simple to build. Could actually just put yeah, I could mount another board about an inch, inch by an inch on each side. That way it'll sit on top of my latches in here. Let's see. Sweet. I'm not sure. So we have no more buttons to use. Hold on. Should go. There we are. Sweet, I'm gonna load up some arcade games on here really quick and see if we can get this thing playing for a sec. So I'm gonna reboot now. I just added a few FBA games. Like I said before, I don't have my speakers hooked up. I'm waiting on an amp and some three inch speakers. Running low on funds now, so to finish the cabinet up, it's gonna take about a week. We'll go Blazing Star. Detected my USB joystick. Sweet, this is gonna be awesome. All right, so insert coin button. Inserted a coin, we'll put a few more in there. Start. And these buttons are cheap, so if I do wear them out, I can get some new ones. Nice. My wife is going to be so annoyed because of the sound of these buttons. Oh my god, this is so much better than a controller. Let's see what kind of power up we gain here. Nice! Oh, sweet. Nice. I'm loving it. It looks pretty good to me. Um, like I said, I'm just running low on funds for graphics right now. I'm going to raise that screen up about an inch and got a pretty sweet little arcade here. So definitely check these guys out. It's bartopcabinet.com. 
And uh, the, I'll leave their link in the description and their eBay page. They sell just the wood itself. You'll need to provide all the other parts for the unit, but it's a fun project to do and it's very simple. They make it easy with the pre-cut wood. As you saw, I glued mine together and it's gonna hold up just fine. If you guys got any questions, let me know down below or you can send me a private message by going to my channel page, clicking about, send message. Like always, thanks for watching.